go out of order, get up to all order the salt for the season so that we don't run into any problems there. And with any, without any further objection due to the late hour, uh, these last two items are, are going to be lengthy. Um, I move to order, get, get our salt authorization to order our salt for the year, uh, move to pay the bills, and then adjourn and put these last two items on the agenda for next week. These ordinance updates. Ordinance updates as well as the snow flying equipment. N and P. So we're just going to skip down to O unless somebody objects. Uh, or I don't object to that. I am okay. interested in salt water. Yeah. Last year we used 1,950 tons roughly. Um, See any reason why we wouldn't order the same thing? We're required to take 80 yep. percent. Okay. 80 percent. Uh, I guess I'm confused. And why do we have prices for 850? That's just this number they put in. Oh, I tell them how much. Oh. When I return it back to them, you tell me the amount. They just put in a number. I don't even know where it came from because it's not even from the year before. So oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say. I fill in the number and give it back to them that we're reserving this amount. Okay. I thought last, last year we ordered like 1,800 tons, and whether we use it or not, we're still responsible for 80%. And virtually we used it. We didn't lose money on that deal, but that's how they work. So, gosh, I would want to, but I don't have a crystal ball that tells us how much snow we're going to do. But I got a feeling 1,800, we can't go wrong with it. 1,800 tons. Yeah, crystal ball. So you want to lower it from 1900 to 1800? Was it 19? I thought it was 18. Well, we got 18 last year. That was what we got last year. But we actually used John okay. saying 19, 1956, 50 something. something like that. So I would say go with the same amount if you only need to use 80 percent. No, what, what you didn't hear is we went with 1800 and we used 19. No, no, I'm, no, we did not. No, we didn't. We ordered 1975 last year. Okay. We and how much did we use? 1956. Or oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Or the same amount we went through last year. Yes. Because then it, we only need to use 80 percent of it. Mr. Wolf, well, one thought is that uh, a few years back there was a shortage. Everybody kind of number one got cut off. <clears throat> they do make it to take or pay. However, if we get the contract, we can store it at no cost. The, the excess, a few hundred extra, it's not a big deal for us. What if it's 500 extra? Not a big deal. Okay. So let's reorder. Thank you. I'll make a motion to order. Uh, we had broken this up last year between the two because there's some. Devin, maybe you can enlighten us about what the. One of them's got X kind of salt, the other's got Y, somebody sprinkles it with something. Yeah, they, they change their salts. I think it was Morton that kind of changed their salt. So different years have different granulations of sizing and, and additive to it. Um, it doesn't make, I'm not the one that knows. I'll, I'll have to go back and look at that. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. <laughs> Jimmy, do you have from last year with that? Morton was 1275 and North American was 700 tons. Uh, I say we do the same stuff as it worked last year. It's a tad difference in price, but not enough to make a difference. And last year had four bucks, and last year's six bucks. So 1200 for Morton and 700 for North American. Pretty average amount. But were we going to increase that now since we got three stores, just in case? No? Brian, you really? You're it? Brian Fisher, you're going to be at 1975 and not 2000? Okay. Well, it makes you all happy. It is certainly it late. Okay. 1975. I'll second it. Question. We've got $56.49 versus $54.23. Shall we go with the cheaper price for the more, more bulk? In other words, we're not going to evenly split that. Would it make more sense for two bucks a ton? If we do a thousand ton with one company times two dollars, to me that's two thousand dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't there? There's just some issue, and I'm just relying on my 
There was. And I My so-called mentor no. Everett told me that somebody's got something that's better at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, and the other guy's yeah. better in the middle of the year, and there's something about the DNA and the salt content. And there is something to that. It was going this way and going that way. <laughs> The, the blue salt that you see has got an additive in it that stops it from clumping together. That's that's basically what it is. That's right. What it is. Uh, I think everybody does that. It depends on it, it depends on what grade you buy. Um, but that was always the. I don't think they all do that. I think it is just. Martin does that guy. Martin. And, and that, that was always the method to ever saying we're going to get more from the left hand than the right hand because we're going to use that in the, you know when the ground's not. Frozen yet. So right. it's more, the more slushy. Okay. That was what Solution. Oh, just, just a remark with working with the two, though. Um, more, just because we were working in the office, with getting the two locations, because we had utilized both and, and the town hall. Um, although we really talked to North American to get it free for both, you know, Morton had no problem delivering to two different places. North American, however, not so much, and they took um, a quite a lot of talking to until they agreed to it. But that's just something to consider because I'm sure we'll have to go through the same issues. So basically, you'll just say, "Remember, we remember you did do this. You started the process." Stop. <laughs> get so, tough, Jamie. Get yeah. tough. Yeah. So they didn't like delivering the both, but Morton didn't mind. At, well, at first. yeah, they wanted to charge because they were tech because they were going to two different places, or to maybe three. Well, based on that, can't we get the other company that has no objection to deliver the salt here and in two places? And more than all the way wherever we're going to send it. Uh, but a solution that I might offer, and that would be uh, to take action today, order the salt, and I don't know if we have to plug in the numbers, but I would ask Mr. Wolf to come back with, or Mr. Schaefer to come back with some information about the contents of the salt uh, that would help us make up our mind how much we order from either company. We can at least... I gotta tell them. You gotta make, yeah. you gotta cut bait. <clears throat> yeah. You gotta cut bait. That's no, 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 what, he's, what Mike's saying is let, let, let Mr. Schaefer and Mr. Wolf tell us the content that's in the salt. Uh, Devin had said that he thought you, he, we, re, he thought that there was something in there that you would talk to your salt <coughs> expert about and tell us what you think we should be ordering and then we'll move on and order it tomorrow. So the bottom line would be authorization to order 1,975 tons of salt and we'll determine from which supplier that has the additives that are the best. So, okay, perfect. All right, is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Moving on to paying the bills, we have 83,000 Eight hundred thirty-six and eighty-eight cents. I'll make a motion to offer the payment of the bills. Mr. Chairman, might I ask before we seconds that just as a uh, matter of personal privilege, here, I would like to take the Rupert and Melky uh, one separately, if you would allow that to be done. And I don't care whether that comes first or second. Is that no? that's, that's Is that acceptable to you? Sure, I'll make my motion then to say that we'll, I will take all the bills together except for the Rupert Milky bill. Okay, I'll second the motion. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Let's move on to Rupert and Milky's bill separately, and that is for $1,894.39. I question. What's the hang up? Yes, yeah. he has a uh, conflict, conflict because I because I need to abstain. Yes, oh, abstain. I'll make a it's motion to approve the bill. I'll second. Uh, we'll call, please. Oh. Who was the second? Uh, me. Thank you. Supervisor Bansky. Yes. Supervisor Fisher. Abstain. Supervisor Wolf? Yes. Supervisor Laska? Yes. Chairman Merrick? Yes. Motion approved. Motion to adjourn? Before we adjourn, I'd like to make a point of order. Earlier.
today in the meeting, Chairman Merrick appointed a person for administrative review. This is, I'm assuming, based on a letter received from Emmerich Cummings, who says that they are aggrieved and they are asking for an administrative determination of you. The Title IV describes under Section 4-1-3 determinations not subject to review. Under A, it says a legislative enactment, a legislative enactment is an ordinance, resolution, or adopted motion of the town board. The very aggrievement that they are describing in their letter is an adopted motion of the town board, which would be deemed a legislative enactment. So I don't know if my point of order is since this letter addresses that, should our town attorney inform them or should our clerk inform them that they are not eligible for review based on what they have written and what they are here. It's my reading it. But so there's my point of order that they don't want to follow. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Good evening.